What is up guys? Uh, getting a really late start to today's vlog. Uh, I really wasn't going to film this morning because when I woke up I had a huge headache and I was super tired. But uh, there's a few things I got to get done here. And so I figured I'd make a video and take care of this and it's a win-win. So uh, there's a few things we got to do. For one, I got to cut down that couch. I got to cut it like in half or in thirds so I can fit it in the dumpster. Um, then I got to take care of all this mess that's here. Uh, my dad gave me a shop vac. He had this hanging out in his uh, garage that he wasn't using. So I'm going to probably be taking that apart and cleaning it. I have to hook up that, or not hook up, I have to remount, I guess you could say, that fuel line that I was dragging down the other day. Do a little bit of organization stuff and Maybe, maybe if I have time after all that, uh, go clean the car because as y'all saw the other day, it's absolutely filthy. So um, there's going to be a few things that I have to do today. Um, I don't think it's going to be too exciting, but like I said, I figured I'd make a vlog and I got to get this done anyways. So uh, yeah, and this, hopefully I'm getting this out of here Friday. Uh, it's my dad's. He actually sold it though, so we're, we should be taking it Friday. Um, that way, you know, it's out of the way. Uh, this thing is actually like extremely, extremely heavy. It doesn't look that bad, but it, it's very heavy. And so it's kind of hard to move. So whenever I get to my tools, I kind of just have to reach around it. But yeah, like I said, we got to take care of that. It's not going to be too exciting, but uh, hopefully we can find something to do that uh, is pretty cool. So let's get started. Well, I'm no one's So first things first is I'm going to take care of that couch. I think I'm going to cut it right here actually and my car's in the way. So first things first is I'm going to move the car and that way we can pull that couch down and get it sitting here and I can start cutting it. So uh, y'all get to start off the uh, morning with a nice V8 America. Now that that's out of the way, uh, we can move some of this crap and try to get that couch down. Hold on. You all see these little things? Um, they're actually, I took a few off. They're actually super, super pokey. And uh, I don't want those laying around, you know, if I'm cutting and they fall out or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip these out. And then uh, I guess we'll just start sawing. I guess there's nothing really else to do. All right, I got them all out. Uh, there's no more. So now I guess we start cutting. I'm just gonna take a saw and just start cutting down the middle and whatever I cut, I cut. All right, so I kind of ran into a little problem. Uh, all the wood's cut, it's pretty much ready to come apart, but I wasn't anticipating these to have metal in them. If you can see that. Um, that's pretty much all I need to do. I knew there was gonna be springs, but I thought I could just cut right between them I didn't know there was these going by so um, I'm gonna have to find something to cut that and um, Other than that though, this couch is pretty much cut in half. It's pretty sweet 
I totally forgot about my Dremel tool. So uh, I'm gonna use this little bit and try to see if I can cut those. Damn, that was easy. I totally forgot, I always, always, always forget that I have a Dremel tool. Um, until like it's too late, I always find some other way to do it. So I'm glad I remember that because that just made my life like way easier. I would have been here for like 10 minutes trying to figure that out and it took me not even a second to cut that. So now that we got that, I'm gonna try to just flip it over and tear it apart. Load all this stuff up, go take it to the dump. Okay, actually I lied. I'm gonna take those uh, to the dumpster at the end uh, whenever I'm leaving here because it's on the way out. So there's no sense of going over there right now, but, but we kind of made a huge mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this up and um, kind of put it in the trash bag and then we can start organizing that. Also, what I want to do today is, where's my case? My case is over here. Is I want to cut this case up. I know it sounds weird, but I want to cut like where the microphone is on the GoPro because whenever this is in that case, you the microphone sucks because it's being covered up. So, and I have another case, so it's not like I'm going to be ruining that one because if I need like the waterproof, um, I can just throw on the other case. So. I want to I want to try that out and see if that even works. It may not it may not even help it at all, but I figured I'd give it a try because uh, instead of carrying it like I normally am, uh, I actually have this stick, and so I want to you know put it on that. That'll just make it a little bit easier. And as y'all can notice in my other videos, sometimes my finger gets in the way, and to me that's really annoying. So I'm sure it's annoying for y'all. So I, that's why I'm gonna do that a little bit later. But first, I'm gonna clean up this mess and organize all that crap all this stuff that way it's just nice and neat in here and um yeah and then we'll see what else has planned <laughs> all right i got it all sweeped up uh, i got that fan running because it's freaking hot out here but um yeah so next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean up the workbench because this is absolutely ridiculous uh, and it all, all, it's pretty much not dirty, I just gotta put everything away. And so uh, I'm gonna do that and then we can start working on the shop back and getting it cleaned out. All right, now that we got the workbench cleaned, we can start messing with this uh, big old hunk. It is filthy. So, so yeah, we're going to, uh, I don't even know how you, I guess you untwist this to take it off. I've never actually messed with one of these before, so uh, hopefully I don't break anything.
just whatever the case is, I don't have to worry about it, and so it's really nice and convenient. Um, it also comes with a lot of attachments, so you know anything I need it for. Uh, it's gonna make cleaning my truck a lot easier because you know I clean my truck a lot, so um, I don't have to worry about like taking it to a car wash or something. So I'm gonna plug this thing in, see if it runs. I don't know. That actually sucks really, really, really hard. Um, I'm surprised because I, I didn't think it was going to be that great because I have, um, you know, been using vacuums for a while, just working at the car washes and stuff, and those are like industrial. So they always suck pretty hard, and I thought that was going to be like kind of average, but it's actually really good. So um, I'm going to get that put away, and then I'm going to, I'm going to try to mess with the GoPro case because... Like y'all just saw in that last clip, I forgot to take it out of the case, so I'm sure the audio sucks. And uh, I don't know, that's just kind of annoying. So I'm gonna see if I can drill out that case to where the microphone's exposed and see if that helps at all. Okay, so I got the GoPro case. Um, there's, I'm not exactly sure where the microphone is on the case. I'm not very uh, knowledgeable on that, but there's, on the GoPro itself, there's two little holes here that I think may be a microphone, and there's also two little holes right above the uh, the record button that look like a microphone. So I'm just gonna cut out two little squares right where those would be with my Dremel tool. Um, and then we can test it out and see if that was it. All right, so I went ahead and marked where those little holes were uh, just so I could cut around them cleanly. Uh, I'm going to try to do this as cleanly as I can, uh, that way you know it just looks good and it's not butchered and the case is actually still usable. Okay, so I've finished making kind of my first little guideline cuts, and uh, it seems like it's just melting the plastic. It's not really cutting it, so uh, it's going to be a lot harder to keep clean than I thought. I mean, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I guess I'm going to keep cutting at it see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of try and knock this little piece out. Okay, there's a the little hole out. Uh, it's still a little bit kind of jacked up, so I'm going to uh, try to cut the rest of that off. Alright, we got the first one cut and kind of cleaned up. It kind of looks crappy, but you know, I think it'll get the job done. Uh, the next next one is up here. This one's going to be kind of hard actually. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I want to use for that yet. Okay, well I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but uh, I could just drill out the little hole where it goes. Uh, I guess I was a little bit too trigger happy to use the Dremel tool because I never get to. But uh, I'm gonna try this because this should work a heck of a lot easier. Look at that, already done. All right, well that hole came out a lot cleaner than this one did. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but uh, hey, you live and you learn, right? Now I gotta clean up this case because I got shavings everywhere, and then we'll do a little test with it. See what it does. All right, so I got the case finished up. Uh, let's do a little test. This is me talking uh, when the GoPro is out of the case. It's just the GoPro by itself. This is the GoPro in the watertight case um, at normal volume, at normal talking volume. Um, you probably can't hear anything I'm saying, but it's okay. And this is the GoPro with the case that I just cut uh, at normal talking volume. So I really hope you can hear me just as great as you can. Uh, without the case, but I guess I won't know until I edit this. 
Man, I just feel like I can't get away from messes. I just had all this clean. I feel like I clean up a mess just to make another mess, but I mean, I guess that's how it goes. So I'm gonna clean up this, and I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go eat and probably go to the gym. I'm sure y'all don't wanna see that, so I'm gonna end it here. Um, I really hope y'all enjoyed this. I know it was a lot of time lapses. It was just kind of, you know, what I had to do today. It wasn't anything special. But um, I really hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope that we could kind of find some interesting things in it. But uh, I'm really looking forward to using that case because now, like I said, I can use this little um, handle. So I think that'll be a lot easier, and it'll look a lot less weird for me. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I really feel like I was pretty productive today. We opened up a lot of space in here. Um, so I don't know. I. It was a productive day for me. Like I said, it's not the not the best thing to film, not the most interesting thing, but I'm glad y'all are watching this. So if y'all if y'all stuck it through to the very end, thank y'all so much. I really appreciate it. And that's it for this one. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all the next one. So peace.